Bring your attention to the match wheel. Trying to determine how Darby Allen will have to defend his title. So it looks like we're getting not one, but two six-person battle royales tonight. Hey, yo, it's your boy, Mr. Faith. I'd like to welcome you back to WWE How It Should Be. Episode 24 of the second season, and we have a good one here for you tonight. Of course, I mean, the talented tag teams that are the Alpha Academy and the Diamond Mine will be going at it. And, of course, Darby Allen will be defending his Intercontinental Championship, and we still have to go to the match wheel to determine how and who he's going to defend that against. But the main event for tonight... The real reason that this is going to be a good show is because we have a six-woman battle royale to determine the number one contender and who is going to face Charlotte Flair at SummerSlam. So, you know, Charlotte basically came to me and was like, look, man, as far as I'm concerned, nobody here can touch me. Nobody here is worth giving a title shot to. Uh, let them figure it out amongst themselves. I'm not concerned with any of them. I said, all right, you're not concerned with any of them? Well, we're going to get a lot of them a shot then. And we're going to see who comes out on top. So... You know, and there's going to be lots of talent there, but uh, I, I think we really got to focus on the match at hand. And, and that's uh, two teams who have uh, a lot of similarities, right? You know, Otis and Chad Gable, Julius and Brutus Creed, all with spectacular amateur wrestling backgrounds. And whoa! But there, there was no, nothing uh, technical about that. that. That was just chucking another human being that's what that was oh oh Julius maybe thought he was gonna do the same thing Chad Gable though not gonna fall for the same thing twice at least he hopes not and oh but it's like Otis comes out on top oh maybe just temporarily Julius trying to fight his way out of the corner he does not want to be in here oh again another takedown and he is uh putting on a technical exhibition here oh Nothing really technical about that, though. <laughs> That's just a knee to the face. <laughs> That's all that is. Knee to the skull, and he's going to try to get the big boy over to the corner. And now we're going to see some tag team action between Julius and Brutus here. Julius lifting the big man up on his shoulders. And then uh, <laughs> Brutus launching himself <laughs> like a, a dang projectile missile. And now he's going to the top again, but oh, Chad Gable going to throw Brutus off the off the top, and the ref's going to let it slide. So now Brutus going to go to the top turnbuckle in his own corner here. Otis standing up only to eat the missile that is Brutus Creed right to the face. Oh, Gable though, quick, going to make the save. Perhaps the Creed brothers here have... Uh, adapted the strategy of just isolating Otis if they can hey maybe take the big man out you don't have to worry about any uh you know uh, hot streaks of energy from him later could be a good strategy but what was here oh clubbing close line there by Otis and then oh yeah that'll that'll drive the wind out of you for sure and now oh a takedown by Chad Gable now. Going for the cover. Rolls him nice. Julius almost late for the break up there, but of course, uh, hey man, this match probably going to go on for a minute. You see here. Whoop. <laughs> Otis rolling out of the way. Brutus. Brutus! Hoisting the big man up in the torture rack position and throwing him over his shoulders. And <laughs> Chad Gable's right there. To break things up. Brutus looked like he was going to turn his attention to Gable for just a split second. He did. And Otis is able to roll him up. Almost. Almost. Catches Brutus with a nice little surprise there. Oh. I mean, bro. He's playing lots of strength and power there. Both teams, though, I will say this, doing a really good job of uh, getting nice tags in and out. Trying to stay fresh. Trying to keep their uh, more worn down guys on the on the apron. Hey, I think uh, whoever ooh, is going to be more involved out of Gable and Julius Creed probably going to end up winning this match. As Brutus and Otis are pretty much already on their last legs here. Ooh, Gable with the moonsault though. It looks so pretty. Hooks the leg. Brutus able to kick out there. No Julius in sight. Had full faith. That Brutus was going to kick out of that. 
But now, Chad Gable, ooh. Perhaps trying to, uh, yeah, oh, work the legs of the big man here. Isolate some of the limbs. What are we looking at here? Oh, all right, folks. Some pandemonium has broken out, but we bring you back to this match where <laughs> Otis is still railing from an assault by Brutus. And, oh, uh, Julius Tree tagged in, and yikes. And immediately... It, uh, finds himself in trouble, perhaps, but gonna get the win. Hey, it wasn't the cleanest, it wasn't the prettiest, but the Creed brothers did it again. All right, folks, I didn't want you guys to have to sit through that wheel spinning five times to pick out people, but uh, here's the match, man. I mean, Kit Wilson, Keith Lee, Carmelo Hayes, Santos Escobar, and Grayson Waller are all challengers for Darby Allen's Intercontinental Championship here, and... Uh, Hey, we, oh, uh, we have ourselves a six-man battle royale. For those of you unfamiliar uh, with the rules on this, it's, it's really simple. All you have to do is not be eliminated, be the last man standing in the ring, and you will walk out of this episode of Friday Night SmackDown as Intercontinental Champion. Uh, so, and, and of course, how you eliminate people is you get them over the top rope, outside of the ring, both of their feet have to touch the floor. That is how uh, an elimination occurs so looks like we have some pairings here we have a uh, Grayson Waller and Keith Lee there on your screen and then oh uh, Kit Wilson and Darby Allen and then we have Carmelo Hayes and Santos Escobar going at it and really this this match this match could be the catalyst right for for someone like Kit Wilson or Carmelo Hayes I mean Kit Wilson I don't know anything about the man um and to be honest I I don't really have much interest in him and if he doesn't put on an impressive showing tonight, who knows how many more opportunities or how much screen time he gets in the future, right? But, of course, you have someone like, you know, Grayson Waller, Carmelo Hayes, who I am aware of. I'm aware of their athleticism and, and their talent, but uh, they're just unproven, right? Uh, and then, of course, you have, you know, Keith Lee. Oh, and you had Santos Escobar uh, until he just got eliminated. But you got Keith Lee, who's... Definitely a proven talent. He just hasn't been able to find much success on the main roster. And even going to another company, uh, I mean, his level of success, debatable. So, here we have, oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Darby Allen. Okay, I would say, I thought he was turning his attention to Carmelo Hayes and Keith Lee there. But, I guess was just <laughs> trying to keep Kit Wilson from seeing the fact that he was going <laughs> to hit him with a running knee while he was down in the corner. Your Darby Allen here, man, the strategy is try to lay low. Uh, keep picking on Kit Wilson here. And, oh, maybe even eliminate him. And then try to lay low. You definitely don't want the big man, Keith Lee, targeting you. And first of all, if you're anyone in this match, you, you want to eliminate Keith Lee. You want to team up and eliminate the big man. That's first and foremost. And you probably want to eliminate Darby Allen because, I mean, look at what he's been able to do, right? The stuff he's been able to do and, uh, and you know, how he's been able to defend this title has been absolutely spectacular. And, oh, I mean, dude, that's, come on, man. That's entertaining and effective. And that's what we like to see here, man. Entertaining and effective as Grayson Waller gets eliminated while he was entertaining. Not quite so much effective. But now we have, oh, Carmelo Hayes, that was a DDT, bro. That was a DDT. Okay. Carmelo Hayes, this could be a redemption match for him. I mean, uh, wow. A powerful clothesline. And now it's Carmelo Hayes just waiting for Darby Allen. Maybe waiting too long. Maybe, maybe this is a redemption match for Carmelo Hayes. Just a couple weeks ago, ooh, being the second man in a small gauntlet match. Uh, the second man, that, you know, Darby Allen and Cedric Alexander, they put on a long ruling match. Carmelo Hayes had one job, and that was to show up and pick the carcass of whoever won apart. And he couldn't do it. Darby Allen wins. Darby Allen retains two times in one night. It was actually epic for Darby Allen. Kind of embarrassing for Carmelo Hayes. And, uh, 
uh, you know, hey, an elimination of Darby Allen winning the title. Uh, if you eliminate, think about this. There's five opponents, right? There's six people. There's five opponents. If you eliminate three out of the five of your opponents in, in a match, uh, you know, that's no one can say you don't deserve it, right? But especially if you eliminate the current defending reigning champ, I mean, and he's taking it to him, man. He's controlling the pace here. And it looks like he's looking for another clothesline like he had on Keith Lee. Oh, oh, oh maybe this, this time just tossing him up. Just hoisting him over here. Oh, oh, gets him over. Oh, Darby Allen trying to hold on. Trying to hang on. Carmelo Hayes trying to use that leverage to kick him out. Oh, some nice elbows to the shin, though, by Darby Allen. And oh, oh. <laughs> I thought we were going to see a Spanish fly, but no, that. <laughs> That was just straight to the point, huh? And this is what you don't want if you're Carmelo Hayes. You don't want Darby Allen getting a head full of steam. Woo! Whoa, what just happened? That was weird. That was a weird little sequence there. Uh-oh. Oh! What is go- How? <laughs> That's not how physics works! Alright. <laughs> but I guess it, whatever it is, it's working to the favor of Carmelo Hayes here tonight. Oh! Nice little Falcon arrow there by Carmelo Hayes. And looks like he's got Darby Allen right where he wants him. Oh, super kicks him out of the ring. Whoa. Well, from one battle royale to another. <laughs> uh, and, and strangely enough, battle royal probably isn't even the theme of tonight. Uh, revenge match might be or redemption match might be. Uh, I, I mean, Carmelo Hayes certainly earned it with his victory tonight, and I think most of these women here have a chance to earn it tonight as well. Um, of course, Ivy Nile, you know, she's new DLC content, so uh, you know nothing really for her to redeem herself from. But Shotzi, uh, let, let's be honest, Shotzi did a lot of the leg work at Money in the Bank for Sonya Deville to come in last second uh, and capitalize on. So. You know, no doubt she's feeling slighted. And, of course, Mandy Rose, uh, it, you know, with her money to make qualifying match, was so close, truly, to beating Bayley. Uh, you know, same thing with, like, uh, Zoe Stark and, and uh, Julia Hart. So close to winning their qualifying matches. You know, and, and who knows, either one of them could have been in position to win that. But Julia Hart, probably not, I guess, since she is the first one eliminated here tonight. And then, of course, we have Dakota Kai. I mean, coming back from injury, you know, uh, hey, there's always things you feel like you have to redeem yourself from when you're coming back from an injury like that. And so this could be her shot here tonight. You, you never know. I mean, whoever wins this match will be facing Charlotte Flair for the SmackDown Women's Championship at SummerSlam. So we have that. And, you know, hey, uh, again, if I'm anybody in this match, man, my strategy is lay low, especially now that they be observant and lay low. You know what I'm saying? You see that there's only five people? Hey. Do what Zoe Stark is doing right now, man. Stay on the ground, you know? You, you, hard to lift you straight from the ground up and over the ropes, right? Stay on the ground. Rest. Let the two people interact with each other. The two-on-twos happen. Oh, although Dakota Kai not not letting Manny Rose employ that strategy. So, I don't know. Maybe I, I wouldn't do that. Just still avoid full-on boots to the face. Oh, drop kick to the back of the nugget right there. Okay. Dakota Kai taking it to everybody. I tell you this, ring rust was definitely something that was on my mind to keep an eye out for. But Dakota tonight doesn't look like she's got much, if any, at all here. She's <laughs> she's getting everybody to business, man. And now Manny Rose, though, finally gets back up to her feet. <laughs> oh, Dakota catches her coming in still, giving her the business and of course, also, I wanted to keep an eye on Ivy Niles. Yeah, she's DLC content. I don't know anything about this woman. Wow! Sent her to the shadow realm with that kick, bro. But, uh, yeah, I don't know anything about Ivy Niles, so I definitely want to keep an eye out on her. See how she does here tonight. Ooh. You know me. I mean, performance is definitely a factor. Entertainment is the biggest factor, though. Uh, if you can't stand out in, in this match. Oh! Wow. Mandy getting the ultimate shot in there with that clothesline on Dakota Kai as soon as she was sent kind of back toward the ropes there. 
Man, he was right there, and the timing on it was perfect, and it just sent her right up and over. But, uh, yeah, if you can't stand out in a match like this, you know, maybe I, I, you know, don't really care about giving you a push in the futures. You know, some people have already proven that they can be entertaining like Zoe Stark, you know, the heart that she displays. Or like Julia Hart, who's got clearly no breaks and throws all caution in the wind and is why she was eliminated here tonight. Um, you know, so even though sometimes it works against them, it's still fun to watch, and that's that's what I'm trying to put on here. But uh, right now, though, watching Ivy now eliminate Mandy Rose. Oh, hey, that's. I will tell you this. Like I said, performance is a factor as well. Right now, she's definitely performing. Oh, starting to show. Oh, a little. Oh. Oh, ate that boot or maybe dodged it, I don't know, by falling back and then kipping back up. Either way, that's toughness. That's grittiness. And I like it. Yo, who wants to win here, bro? That's the question. Who wants to win? Oh, oh, finally, maybe a little double team action. I mean, probably, but as, as quickly as that alliance formed, it was broken up. And I think... These women are just trying to figure out the timing behind everything. Because here's the thing. You, you do one thing to one person and you got someone else just sitting there waiting. <laughs> As that is a perfect example uh, of what... <laughs> a perfect illustration of the words I spoke there. As I spoke them and here... Oh! Uh oh A little double team on Zoe. Oh, I thought Shotzi was going to throw Ivy into Zoe. That would have been... Ooh! Definitely funny. Oh, Shotzi's looking to eliminate Ivy right now. Perhaps. Oh! A slight delay, though. That second, that second guessing herself. Oh! Ivy almost threw Shotzi clean out there. But Shotzi able to hang on with dear life. And, uh, of course, Ivy unable to finish her off. Is the onslaught by Zoe. See there, though, the Selena Soul by Shotzi. And maybe looking for a slice bread here. Oh, nope, nope. Just looking to eliminate Zoe. Clean. Uh oh, she's got to turn over. You got to use that leverage. Oh, she couldn't do it, but oh! Zoe showed a lot of heart here tonight. It just wasn't enough to get the job done. And unfortunately, that's that's been a theme for her lately, but... I mean, Nile, dude, she's she's still looking. I mean, we're deep in this match, and she's still looking fresh and charged up, and she could be debuting and finding herself as number one contender as she eliminates Shotzi with amazing power in her debut, solidifying herself as number one contender. She will be facing Charlotte Flair at SummerSlam, and you can see the emotion coming to her eyes. What a main roster call-up, huh? Well, there you have it. Uh, talk about a crazy week. I mean, between Monday Night Raw and this episode of Friday Night SmackDown, we crowned two new champions. We've determined two new uh, number one contenders or, or matches that will be happening at SummerSlam with the women's title. So uh, lots of drama, lots of excitement, lots of amazing news. And, hey, the only way you can avoid not missing out on any of this in the future is by hitting that subscribe button by turning on the notifications because, you know, one, it helps me out, and then also, two, it helps you, you know, stay on track, stay up to date, all right? But, hey, that's going to do it for us, man. Get out of here. Go have fun. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.